Dr. Knight, thank you very much for your talk. The question I have is you profess to be a man of peace. You've spoken very eloquently about the idea of peace in Islam. Peace is written in front of your microphone as you stand there. And I agree with you in, in many senses. But my question is why then is your message still seen as so controversial? Why are there figures within the Islamic world, why are there fellow Islamic clerics who see your message and still believe that you are wrong? Why, I mean, you, you've claimed that the Home Secretary has banned you from this country because of a, a sort of media conspiracy. But why is there a broader sense of discontent with your message? The brother asked a very good question, that why if I'm a man of peace and I speak about peace, some people are against me, some Muslims, some non-Muslims, the Home Secretary. Brother, you have to understand that any person who's popular, there are bound to be people who are against him, irrespective of whether the popular person is doing good work or bad work. And the best example I can give you, that today, according to Michael H. Hart, he wrote a book saying, the 100 most influential people in the world history. Though he's a Christian, he put number one most influential human being as Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Today, do you know, though Muslims consider him to be the most important and the most influential person in history, there are many non-Muslims who think the same. But today, if we analyze the maximum books written against any human being on the face of the earth, it is Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The second person he named in his list was Isaac Newton, but because he's not a common man for common human being, he's a scientist, the third person on his list was Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. If we analyze today, the second person in human history who has maximum books written against him, it is Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. Based on this argument, do I have to agree that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, they were not good? What we have to realize, when a person gets popular, there are bound to be people against him. And according to the Home Department of UK, when I had come in the year 2009, I was informed by reliable sources that according to the Home Department of UK, the most popular Islamic satellite channel in the world is Peace TV, and the most watched Islamic satellite channel in UK is also Peace TV. Not only is it watched by Muslims, but even watched by non-Muslims. The same report said that the most popular Islamic speaker in the world is Dr. Zakir Naik, and the most popular Islamic speaker in UK is also Dr. Naik. That the reason the Home Department was requesting me that can I reach out to those Muslims which the UK government cannot. But now, because of the change of government, what I feel, it was more of a political move rather than a legal move. And as maybe they wanted someone popular, so that they could pass the message that we are tough against Muslims. And that is the reason what we feel that we have more faith in the judicial system rather than the political system. I think it was mainly because of popularity and it was mainly a political move rather than a legal move. And inshallah, God willing, we feel that this exclusion order would be reversed by the Court of Appeal, hopefully.